Hello everyone. Welcome to session three of ISTQB CTFL course. In this session, I am going to explain few best practices that you can follow to clear the exam easily. So let's get started guys. So let me first explain the first best practice. Best practice hash one. So what is the first best practice guys? So a lot of people do the mistake here guys. A lot of people give enough time for learning, okay? In order to attempt this ISTQB exam, they only spend time on learning guys, but uh, they forget one thing that is practicing, okay? Practicing the stuff, like uh, practicing the existing questions that were already asked in the previous ISTQB exams and all those other practices, okay? So if you only focus on learning guys, and if you don't do the practicing, right, what will happen, let me explain. So when you are taking the exam, you will be presented with few questions, which are going to be some tricky questions, guys, okay? During the exam, you'll be presented with some tricky questions. And if you only focus on learning, guys, you'll be you'll be trying to answer the proper answers, okay? You'll feel like you are uh, selecting some correct answer only, but whatever the answer that you are giving for these tricky questions are going to be wrong, guys, okay? That's how these tricky questions are designed in the ISQB exam, okay? If you only depend on learning, you'll not be able to answer this tricky question. So you need to practice guys. You need to practice the previous, uh, previously asked ISQB exams along with the learning so that you can answer these tricky questions uh, without uh, actually uh, making the mistake, fine. Then, then guys, uh, what is the proof actually? Proof is like simple guys. Uh, if you can see the statistics, like 74% of the people are clearing the exam. Okay, even after preparing the, for the exam, uh 74% of the people are clearing the exam whereas remaining 26% are not clearing why this remaining 26% are not clearing so do they have very less learning do they have very less knowledge no guys simple thing is uh, they were presented with tricky questions and uh, they didn't practice well before the exam okay they only uh, like uh, depended on uh, their learning so that's uh, that made them answer some wrong give some wrong answers for these tricky questions and then uh, go into this kind of bucket fine so the first best practice you need to do is not only learning guys you also need to practice well okay practice the questions and all those things well prior to the exam that is the first best practice what about the second best practice let me explain best practice hash two okay this is the second best practice so what you need to do as part of the second uh, second best practice or best practice hash two so this is a plan you need to follow guys, okay? During this uh, video series also, you need to follow the same plan. First thing is that you need to watch my video, okay? Whatever I am explaining, right? You need to watch with an intention of understanding it, okay? First, you need to understand the concepts, guys. And only you need to go to the, uh, the stuff that is required for attending the exam, okay? First, you need to understand the concepts that are required for understanding the questions, right? First, you need to understand by watching the videos. Whatever the videos I am sharing here, you just need to go through that and first watch the video. Once you have watched a particular video, then you need to refer one guide guys, okay? The second is to refer. What is that you need to refer? After watching the video that I am, uh, where I am explaining everything about uh, some concept related to ISTQB, once you understand the concept guys, the next step that you need to do is you need to refer, okay? Refer what? Refer IST, QB, some guide, okay? Let me show you what is that uh, guide, how does it look like, okay? So let's go to the website, official website of IST QB, istqb.org, search for that. And here you have download section, go to the download area. And here you have, this is a certification you are trying to attempt, right? Foundation level, click on that. In foundation also, there are different types, uh, maybe. There are different PDFs are there here, but uh, you need to go with the syllabus one. Okay, the first one, ISTQB, CTFL, syllabus 2018. This is the latest version, it seems. Okay, just click on this. A PDF document will open here, guys. You can download if you want. Okay, so whatever the topic I am explaining in the video session, right? That particular topic, you need to go. Uh, let's say I'm explaining some topic. Uh, let me, let's say in the video, if I'm explaining one topic, Let's go to some real topics, guys. These are not topics, okay? Yeah, maybe in the video, if I'm explaining why is testing necessary, okay? I just explain why is testing necessary in a video format. Once you understand that video, guys, okay? 
once you understand that video then you need to come to this particular section of this istqb ctfl syllabus guide okay you need to use this particular thing as a guide guys okay when you go to some location right uh, that you don't know okay when you are in trip and you went to a location you definitely need a guide right this is also like a guide this document is like a guide guys okay you will know where you are going okay so after you listen to my video session you need to go through this guide okay the same topic that i explained in that particular video session you need to follow here okay you need to go through this guide understand the stuff and just clear out uh, if any other stuff sir left out okay so this thing you, this kind of summary guys okay it's kind of notes okay you don't have to watch my video again and again tomorrow right once you watch the video once you understand the concept come to the guide use this as a reference okay if you have to uh, revise again just don't you don't have to watch my video again and again simply come here okay go through this uh, sections of this guide you will understand everything okay if you remember what i explained in the video you'll easily understand just by going through this text okay you can use this as a guide and revising thing kind of document okay this is a syllabus kind of thing which has a lot of information also okay just need to read through this so that is a as part of second best, best practice uh, first you need to watch the video second you need to refer the istqb guide which i have shown you now then third thing which i already covered in the first best practice guys what is that you need to practice guys okay you need to practice the questions from this concept whatever the concept i explained in this particular video whatever the content you referred in that particular guide related to this uh, whatever explained in the video the same related questions you need to solve okay immediately fine so uh, like uh, topic by topic we will be going okay uh, for a particular topic i will ex i will explain this in this particular video once you understand the topic then you will go with this istqb guide reference for that particular topic for that particular topic you will answer uh, you will solve the questions okay when you practice this questions guys when you practice this questions what will happen you will be able to answer even the tricky questions that can be asked in the istqb exam okay once all these things are done guys let's say you watched uh, the video of a particular topic uh, you refer to this guide and you solved the questions properly tricky questions also then uh, we will be repeating this kind of stuff for each and every topic right so let's say there is a chapter let's say there is a chapter which has around like uh, some 20 topics let's say okay 20 topics so once you complete all these 20 topics guys again you need to solve some chapter level questions okay the next thing okay here four steps are there first step step hash one this is a step hash one where you need to watch my video for understanding the concept step hash two here you need to follow the particular topic in the guide you need to use that guide as a summary thing or revising thing or whatever you want okay so you need to use that as a reference then step hash three you need to practice the questions related to the topics once you complete this kind of things for 20 topics uh, let's say the chapter have has 20 cha uh, 20 topics and you completed all these things then you need to solve chapter level questions okay chapter level questions earlier you solved questions only topic by topic basis now when you take this kind of questions right uh, chapter level questions you need to chapter wise questions you need to solve okay mix of uh, 20 topics related questions like that guys this is the best practice guys okay like this you need to practice this is the step hash four okay last step once you complete all the topics then a chapter level questions you need to practice fine for all these 20 topics you need to practice at the chapter level fine don't worry about uh, much uh, about these things guys i will be making my sessions more uh, easy as possible okay you'll understand that simply blindly follow my sessions you will you will get this plan whatever i'm explaining here in an easiest manner fine the last tip guys last tip or last best practice you can say what is that last best practice that is best practice hash three okay third best practice this is the last one guys i'm going to give as a best practice to easily clear your exam okay so the third best practice is before you attempt the exam guys take three months of time okay take three months of time guys okay don't uh, don't attempt the exam just start practicing now and then attempt the exam in one month that is not a good practice at least keep three months of time okay so before you attempt the exam okay three if you set this three months of time right you will have enough time for learning and practicing guys okay don't just give one month or two months just give three months guys okay uh, uh, like uh, 
then after if you get this three months of time let's say today is like uh, what is that jan 20, jan 19th right today is like jan 19th let's say i started uh, let's say i started uh, working on this okay learning this istqb for uh, i started learning for this uh, exam istqb ctfl exam okay so what i will be doing is uh, now i can block the exam okay i can block the exam on which date guys three months from now jan feb march right feb march april in april 19th i'll be taking the exam guys okay so it should be at least three months of gap should be there okay the moment you start learning for this istqb you need to at least give three months of gap guys in this gap even though you book the exam on the same date okay i mean even though you you try to book the exam on the first day of your learning okay then you need to make sure that there is enough three months of gap for your exam guys okay three months or more you should have so at least three months will help guys uh, because you can learn well you can practice all the questions well and uh, it will be like a, right in the first attempt itself you will be able to clear the exam otherwise uh, you you have to take the exam you have to fail one one or two times and then again pass okay i don't want that to be there uh, that to happen so this is the best uh, practice three guys where you need to block the exam after three months okay you should have enough duration of three months so that you can practice and learn properly so guys these are the best practices i wanted to give so that you can easily clear the exam and uh, you have a proper time to prepare and practice the things for the exam okay so that's it for this session guys uh, see you in the next session thank you bye